Jody's supporters had packed the courtroom on sentencing day, certain that she was going to walk. We did all without a doubt think that she would be exonerated. And then the last minute he said, I just don't think that you didn't know anything about this. Jody was sentenced to three years in prison and was ordered to pay about $736,000 in restitution. She had 60 days to put her life in order. The first thing on my mind when I got sentenced was who in the world is going to watch my kids while I'm gone? I just can't imagine being their age and only having mom and dad, and then mom and dad are just gone one day. At that point, I asked my baby sister, Gina, if she would please move into the house and just be their mom for three years. So I'm really grateful for her. Uh, we were all just really sad. I mean, you never want to see that happen to your sister or your friend. And we all just hugged her and told her we would do anything for her. It was all over, and she had lost. And that's when she called me and told me, hey, that documentary that you want to do about me, do you still want to do it? And I was like, no doubt, let's do it. We wanted to show a flip side of it. It's a job. Escorting is a profession. You know how sharp she has to be, how clean this business has to be ran. And um, through all the trials and tribulation, um, I did what I was supposed to do. Jody spent her last night of freedom with her rider dies. I had my hair dyed freshly and my nails manicured, not like nails, but I was still a little well put together, like I had my Botox and my fresh facial and stuff. I don't know what kind of federal pen she thinks she's going to, but if Jody was nervous the next morning, it didn't show. Maybe it was the Botox. So should we go? Let's go to prison. We got closer and closer as we went. It started messing with her because her children, you know, it was really just about her children. And that was the sad part. Outside of that, she was tough as a cookie on the way. Jody was now inmate 15467-081. It was sad for obviously the kids, but at the same time, Jody kept a positive attitude about it and she knew that we would be visiting and we would switch off between visiting her and her ex-husband. Crazy as this may sound, I appreciate that time because I was able to finally like learn some things about myself. And it kept her focused on the other parts of her life that needed healing. My main concern was just getting to know my kids again and like trying to be there for them and fill that void that they must have felt while I was absent. The most important fracture is the hardest to fix. She and Benji split up, but they've worked out co-parenting their kids. And on the business front, once an entrepreneur, always an entrepreneur. I have a new business, it's called So Plush Beauty, and it's also a service business where we have hair and makeup artists that go to the customer's homes or venue to get them glamorous for their event. I love it. She's just found a market that needed to expand and she jumped on it and she's She's going all in on it, and she'll probably be successful. She just is with everything she does, and I'm really proud of her. I'm proud to be her sister. When I do things for the business, I don't just have me in mind. I have everybody in mind. I always try and give to the less fortunate and to help anybody in a circumstance where they may need help. Jody's life has been one long-ass boxing match. For her knock me down, I'ma keep getting up mentality makes her forever scrappy. I've been judged my whole life because of my career, but I think I survived because I felt like there was no other options but to survive. But if my story could ever help anybody, I would definitely say, you know, don't let guys control your life. Find a strong support system and just always do what you know is right and like follow your heart. So, Use Jody's story as a life lesson learned. Be careful what you chase, because in the blink of an eye, anyone can get caught up. And you don't want that. Trust.
Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.